Thank you so much for all the love, for all the warmth. Thank you for accepting me. Thank you so much for all the love, for all the warmth. Thank you for accepting me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I always start my talk with a disclaimer. Well, I always start my talk with a disclaimer. And that disclaimer is that I've never claimed to be a motivational speaker. And that disclaimer is that I've never claimed to be a motivational speaker. Yes, I do speak. Yes, I do speak. But I feel more like a storyteller because wherever I go, I share a story with everyone. But I feel more like a storyteller because wherever I go, I share a story with everyone. Well, it is a story of a woman. Well, it is a story of a woman whose perfectly imperfect life made her who and what she is today. Whose perfectly imperfect life made her who and what she is today. It's the story of a woman who, in pursuit of her dreams and aspirations, made other people realize. It's the story of a woman who, in pursuit of her dreams and aspirations, made other people realize that if you think that your life is hard and you're giving up on that, that if you think that your life is hard and you're giving up on that because you think your life is unfair, because you think your life is unfair, think again. Because when you think that way, you are being unfair to your own self. Think again. Because when you think that way, you are being unfair to your own self. It's the story of a woman who, it's the story of a woman who made people realize that sometimes problems are not too big. Made people realize that sometimes problems are not too big. We are too small because we cannot handle them. We are too small because we cannot handle them. It is the story of a woman who with time realized. It is the story of a woman who with time realized the real happiness doesn't lie in success, money, fame. The real happiness doesn't lie in success, money, fame. It lies within. Real happiness lies in gratitude. It lies within. Real happiness lies in gratitude. So I am here. And I'm going to share the story of that woman. So I am here and I'm going to share the story of that woman. That is my story. The story of gratitude. That is my story. The story of gratitude. I love you too. I love you all. I love you too. I love you all. I believe in the power of words. I believe in the power of words. Many people speak before they think. Many people speak before they think. But I know the value of words. The words can make you, break you. They can heal your soul. They can damage you forever. But I know the value of words. The words can make you, break you. They can heal your soul. They can damage you forever. So I always try to use the positive words in my life wherever I go. So I always try to use the positive words in my life wherever I go. They call it adversity. I call it opportunity. They call it weakness. I call it strength. They call it adversity, I call it opportunity. They call it weakness, I call it strength. They call me disabled, I call myself differently abled. 
they see my disability. They see my disability, I see my ability. They call me disabled, I call myself differently abled. They see my disability. They see my disability, I see my ability. There are some incidents that happen in your life. There are some incidents that happen in your life. And those incidents are so strong that they change your DNA. And those incidents are so strong that they change your DNA. Those incidents or accidents are so strong that they break you physically. Those incidents or accidents are so strong that they break you physically. They deform your body, but they transform your soul. They deform your body, but they transform your soul. Those incidents break you, deform you, but they mold you into the best version of you. Those incidents break you, deform you, but they mold you into the best version of you. And the same thing happened to me. And I'm going to share what exactly happened to me. And the same thing happened to me. And I'm going to share what exactly happened to me. I was 18 years old when I got married. I was 18 years old when I got married. And this thing I'm sharing for the very first time on an international level. And this thing I'm sharing for the very first time on an international level. I belong to a very conservative family where good daughters never say no to their parents. I belong to a very conservative family where good daughters never say no to their parents. My father wanted me to get married. My father wanted me to get married. And all I said was, if that makes you happy, I'll say yes. And all I said was, if that makes you happy, I'll say yes. And of course, it was never a happy marriage. And of course, it was never a happy marriage. Just about after two years of getting married, just about after two years of getting married, about nine years ago, I met a car accident. About nine years ago, I met a car accident. Somehow my husband fell asleep and the car fell in the ditch. Somehow my husband fell asleep and the car fell in the ditch. He managed to jump out, saved himself. I'm happy for him. He managed to jump out, saved himself. I'm happy for him. But I stayed inside the car. But I stayed inside the car. And I sustained a lot of injuries. The list is a bit long. Don't get scared. I'm perfectly fine now. And I sustained a lot of injuries. The list is a bit long. Don't get scared. I'm perfectly fine now. Radius ulna of my right arm were fractured. Radius ulna of my right arm were fractured. The wrist was fractured. Shoulder bone and collarbone were fractured. My whole rib cage got fractured. The wrist was fractured. Shoulder bone and collarbone were fractured. My whole rib cage got fractured. And because of the rib cage injury, lungs and liver were badly injured. And because of the rib cage injury, lungs and liver were badly injured. I couldn't breathe. I lost urinal bowel control. I couldn't breathe. I lost urinal bowel control. That's why I have to wear the bag wherever I go. That's why I have to wear the bag wherever I go. But that injury that changed me and my life completely but that injury that changed me and my life completely. So this accident took place in a far-flung area. 
So this accident took place in a far-flung area in the outskirts of a very small province, Balochistan, where there was no first aid, no hospital, no ambulance. In the outskirts of a very small province, Balochistan, where there was no first aid, no hospital, no ambulance. Many people came to rescue. They gave me CPR. Many people came to rescue. They gave me CPR. They dragged me out of the car. And while they were dragging me out, they dragged me out of the car. And while they were dragging me out, I got the complete transaction of my spinal cord. I got the complete transaction of my spinal cord. And now there was this debate going on. Should we keep it here? She's going to die. Where should we go? There is no ambulance. And now there was this debate going on. Should we keep it here? She's going to die. Where should we go? There is no ambulance. There was this four-wheeler Jeep standing in the corner of the street. They said, there was this four-wheeler Jeep standing in the corner of the street. They said, put her in the back of the Jeep and take her to the hospital, which is three hours away from this place. Put her in the back of the Jeep and take her to the hospital, which is three hours away from this place. And I still remember that bumpy ride. And I still remember that bumpy ride. I was all broken. They threw me at the back of the Jeep and they rushed me to the hospital. I was all broken. They threw me at the back of the Jeep and they rushed me to the hospital. That is where I realized that my half body was fractured and half was paralyzed. That is where I realized that my half body was fractured and half was paralyzed. I finally ended up in a hospital where I stayed for two and a half months. I finally ended up in a hospital where I stayed for two and a half months. I underwent multiple surgeries. I underwent multiple surgeries. Doctors have put a lot of titanium in my arm. There's a lot of titanium at my back to fix my back. That's why people in Pakistan call me the Iron Lady of Pakistan. <laughs> 